Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, hi, welcome. I know, right? Welcome to the show. What? I don't even know what that was. I don't know either. That's from some radio show in Orlando. That's what they always start. They're like, welcome to the show. I just thought it was always interesting. That's pretty good. Man, I don't. I feel very awkward. We haven't done a video in here in a while. Yeah, it's been a little bit. It's been it's been a hot minute. Yeah, still uh, still working on the uh, the sound stage. <laughs> still. For, what, a year and <laughs> two months? Something like that. We've been in the green room here with a sheet. With well, a sheet. I mean, we're almost, we're getting close. We've actually painted the walls. Walls have been painted. Probably wouldn't see that, though, because we just zoom in on the sheet anyways. <laughs> yeah, but. so it be, defeats the purpose for you people at home to really, yeah. to really gauge. We'll still show it to you sometime. Yeah, if well, you really want to see it. Remember, uh, well, why don't we do? We can take some photos and put it on our Twitter account. What is our Twitter account? Uh, HTTP, semicolon... Uh, backslash backslash www.com Twitter or sorry www.twitter.com backslash fuck your mother do you think anybody anybody tries to fuck like, I fuck hope your so. mother <laughs> like, like these guys are fucking liars they don't have a Twitter what, what if there is a fuck your mother Twitter <laughs> yeah, like, like people are they're falsely like following this one guy like yeah, what the, what is this? just blew up his fucking Twitter. <laughs> Who are these fucking people? Why do they care about I'm fucking their mother? <laughs> He's probably uh, like the MILF hunter. So this video is going to be like a news uh, video, just a lot of stuff going on. And then we're thinking about some things, you know, we're doing some stuff. stuff. We want to just get off our, our chests. And then um, we're going to do a Chikara. What's the name of the DVD that we'll Chikara, be doing? Chikara, the best of 2006. I think I can show you that right now. We'll be doing a review on this DVD. Probably coming next week, middle of next week, after we do our They're Raw. They're probably wondering why we didn't review it three years ago. No, oh, because we're cheap the and this that was like $5. Is, go to our Twitter account. Yeah. Which is <laughs> twitter.com <laughs> backslash <laughs> fuck your mother. <laughs> so, uh, that'll probably, that probably will come like on a Thursday or a Friday because ro- this will come out tomorrow, this video that we're shooting now. And then Raw's Monday, which that'll come out Tuesday yeah. or Wednesday, and then the, the Chicago we're gonna, one. We're gonna, are we going to vlog the, the Raw? Of course. Oh, okay. Nice. I don't think we... Our fans would love to see that. Okay, cool. We can do that. So, uh... Fuel the Jet. Fuel the Jet. FTJ. FTJ. <laughs> you said that shit like nine Fuel times. Jet. I love it, dude. Anyone that knows where that's from, hit me back. It's not a... You know, it's a tasty laugh. Um, what, what, what direction do you want to start in first? We have three topics we want to talk about. We talk about Raw. We talk about Edge. We talk about Rudy Charles being fired. Rudy Charles first. So that's not like I hold close to my heart. I also hold close to my heart. So I'll let you get a, you vent first, and then I'll vent. I was the second person to reach Rudy Charles on his MySpace after uh, after he posted about his being let go. Some guy was like, "Dude, sorry, uh, sorry, you got let go." I'm like, "No, Rudy Charles let TNA go. Get that shit straight." Yep, motherfucker. Which then comes to find out that TNA, from what I read on the on the yeah, okay. And I, I and I'm gonna say this every time we talk about this because we're gonna we get new fans like every time we make a video. Yeah. Everybody reads the dirt sheets. You take what they you read it. on no, the I'm dirt sheets. I'm not talking about the Miz yeah. and John yeah. Morrison. You take Even what you read not even current. with a grain of salt. What I read was he got fired or let go. He was not gonna be back. His contract expired. Yeah. That is true. Shame on you, TNA. Well, Shame I, on you. Why, I just don't get why. Like, do you feel you have enough referees? There's four. There's four referees. And and Casey, when I told Casey this last night, I called him at eleven thirty. All like, we gotta make a video today. Rudy Charles, their seven years just happened, right? Yeah. And then they're bringing out Don West has this new extravagant deal. It's the seven it's like year. Two hundred dollars. Yeah, it's this huge picture with everybody a, who's been there for seven a years. Plaque. Everybody's everybody signed it. It's like nice plaque, like he said. And yeah. we're like, oh great, seven years. Sorry, Rudy, we're not renewing your contract, but here's a $150 plaque. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, have a great fucking day. <laughs> have a great fucking day. So, uh, yeah, not too happy about Rudy Charles being let go, because we always, you to know, honest, for us... I don't even think Rudy gives a shit. I don't think, and I don't, I'm sure your casual wrestling fan doesn't go, oh, Rudy Charles got fired, whatever. No. But we go to Impact sometimes. Well, we used to go all the time, and we went yeah. last time, but... You know, we, we used to interact with these people, and Rudy Charles was always he interacting was always, with the fans. Andrew Thomas gives you fucking nothing. Nothing. Fucking nothing. Nothing. Rudy... Rudy Right down the middle. Right down the middle. He'll yeah. let you know. You'll be like, hey, Rudy! Yeah. Right down the middle. And he'll tell you, right he'll, 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 you know, there's always, there's always this old dude that would bring, like, his granddaughter and be like, have my glasses, Rudy. He's like, got my contacts in. <laughs> got my contacts in. You know, it gives you a little And you can always up. go up to him at the ale house. He was always a nice guy. My brother, the first time he went to TNA, got a really <laughs> cool picture of Rudy Charles like this. Yeah. Like that. And it was just, he was just a nice guy. And it's, it's a really shame to cool see dude. him get let go. And we, we wish the best for him. He already said that he's... 
He's working on some things outside of wrestling. Yeah. Well, he's a referee for a lot of stuff. And if you haven't gone to his MySpace, you need to. There's a photo of where he gets cracked in the head of a bottle from some wrestling event or some event. And he's just like, he's refereeing, entire face covered in blood. Because someone threw a bottle into the ring and hit this mother- poor motherfucker in the head. So, Rudy, from the guys at Pro Wrestling and you... You'll be uh, sadly missed. Let's try and get him on the show. We should. We should. We should write Rudy Charles. We're going. I, we're going to write Rudy Charles. <laughs> are you going to be finished? Are you going to write Rudy Charles? Am I? Yeah. We. we I don't we. do things alone. Well, no, I get scared. I usually let him write the emails because I just don't like. I'm lazy. Joey's a literate. <laughs> so let's move on to the next topic. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, not racist, by the way. Oh, no. Um, no. So, where do you want to go? Raw or Edge? Which one do you want to tackle next? Uh, let's talk about Edge. Go ahead. <coughs> Apparently, Edge is supposed to be injured off of a house show. Um, don't know. I'm not his physician. But what I'm wondering is, uh, he went and wrestled like an entire match on Raw. I'm not saying they didn't tape up his foot. Well, that's because it was taped, I think. Yeah, was, that was the same crowd. Oh, it was the same crowd. You're yeah, right. Was See, that was my crowd. mistake. Same crowd. I, I did the same thing. I kept looking at him like, God, those signs look... That Spider-Man looks... This shit is taped! It, it was taped because uh, Matt from the Backstage Pass told me about that. Yeah, because they went overseas. That's true. I totally forgot. Um, so we're going to get to see the I first guess live rollback. Yeah, we are. Back in wow. the US. I don't know. I guess I guess that goes into our next topic. Well, first of all, it's a fucking bummer because I heard it's a major injury. Yeah. Which is fucking a shame. For like a year. He's going to be out for like a year. Yeah. Which but, I, I doubt because usually people that athletic or that well in shape they, they bounce yeah. back to half that time. yeah three months maybe that for, like if I did that, that yeah I'd be up for like three years but so it's in the physical dude if I did that I, my, my life would be over I'd be done Probably I'd, I'd be in the bed yeah like no you would really die no yeah I, I sprained my ankle I'm like I'm dead <laughs> how did he die he sprained his ankle is that making any sense no 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 Logic's there, though. So, it sucks because it looks like they were doing a lot with Edge and Jericho. And, I and really enjoyed that. The only plus about this is when Edge comes back, they can do the full face turn now. Yeah. Because he's been out. Feel sorry for him. Poor Edge, he was hurt. Way, 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 way. Baby face. He had a lot of sex with Lita. And her titty popped out, kind of, for like a millisecond. Dude. Got me a boner. <laughs> that was kind of uncomfortable. I'm still doing this robot Casey shit. Joey talking about partial erection, the size of a search pack. <laughs> You're in trouble laughing. I'm sorry. Over. So, um. It threw me off my game with the search <laughs> pack. <laughs> Like a vanilla tootsie roll. Uh, if you're wondering, I'm trying to grow facial hair, but I'm really, really fat, so it takes For a lot. For fucking three years. <laughs> yeah, dude. I've asked him to grow a Tank Abbott beard, and he said, no, I can't. I fucking see that within the course of a week, he's got a full fucking goatee. This motherfucker is just too lazy to grow a Tank <laughs> Abbott beard. So, for his birthday, I'm growing a Tank Abbott beard. Thank it's you. his birthday present. So, uh... Birthday's July 14th. You can send stuff to the show. the 11th, yeah. so... We 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 write. We're gonna we were gonna go to Victory Road, but we were unable to do that. So we're gonna go to some yeah. impacts. But uh, with a we you want can really definitely send us gifts. So so um wrong, and we're just talking about this because we both. Well, okay. I I personally agree. We have two minutes, so we're good. Raw was probably the best show it's been this year, personally for me, an all around show. How's our dog outside? I don't even all around show. I thought I thought it was really good. Ted DiBiase Senior was fucking on point. Yeah, he was. He was fucking on point. He was. He was very good. The I, I was disappointed in the primo, uh, the colognes being broken up. I, we were talking about this in the truck, and I didn't bring it up because he was he was explaining. But I'm gonna counter that. I thought it was really good because, yeah. it they did it the right way, and it, like primo did a really good job selling and all that, get down the nitty gritty. Did a really good job. Carlito did a really good job turning on him. I'm kind of anxious to see what they're gonna really do together, and let's just see. But we already discussed this. Carlito's the one getting fired. Because you know how it goes. They break a tag team up. Somebody propels. Yeah. Somebody declines. Call it a Chris Harris or a Marty Jannetty. Whatever yeah. you want. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you want. You call it the Rockers. We'll call it the Rockers A and what are they? Americans Most Wanted. Yeah. Kind of deal. So, yeah. Primo, skyrocketing. Carlito Stock, downfalling. Yeah. Uh, the Triple H, John Cena match was pretty good. I enjoyed that. Although I still can't stand Triple H. And I'm done with that motherfucker completely. Yeah. Um... What else happened on that role? I don't know. Uh, oh, one of the females wrestled, and I was really impressed with her. Maurice. Yeah. I didn't know that bitch could wrestle. She had a half-decent match with Mickey James there. Yeah, Gil Kim was on there. Yeah, Gail Kim fucking impressed the shit out of me. Yeah, dude, Gil Kim just crazy ass shit. 
women's division looks good right now. Um, Raw was fun. Raw was very I enjoyed it. I, Setting I, up for Raw, Raw, I can't wait. I kind of, I liked when Cody sang his dad's theme song. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> that shit killed me. <laughs> that was good. That it's was like, good. Common man, common man. That's the first time we actually got to see a, a nice side of Cody Rhodes yeah. that I did not hate. So He grabbed the mic and was lisping it up, and I thought that was... Because everybody dogs on that, but I think it's hilarious. Oh, dude, Cody Rhodes needs to be face of his dad's gimmick in the polka dots yes. right now. Immediately. As soon as this whole, like, fucking legacy thing is done, yep. polka dot that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. He's the common man. <laughs> we use the jam the shit out of that song on one of the SmackDown games where yes. Cody Rhodes is in. Yes, yes. That and the Ted DiBiase theme I thought is the best. So, yeah. That's just some updates we thought, and uh, 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 uh. so watch out for our raw vlog if you want to call it that, or our road trip. Uh, call them road trips. Let's call them road trips. Our raw road trip, okay. and the Chikara review coming up soon. So very soon. See you guys. And remember Twitter.com/backslash. Fuck your mother.